Hey up everyone, for Henkley era Triumph Bonnaboo, specifically the air called 865cc version. Since the relaunch of Triumph, the triples formed the backbone of the new range, but in 2002, in answer to the calls for a new version of the classic Triumph Bonneville, we got a new Bonneville, an air called 360 degree crank parallel twin that although more overweight, hopped back to the design and style of the Bonnevilles of old. The 360 degree twin had the old vibrations ironed out by a balancer shaft and produced a reasonable amount of power and torque. It was fairly basic, a simple design, it sold on style and the lifestyle brand that Triumph were promoting. But it is a good buy. The first two years it had a capacity of 790cc, then it was up to 865cc in 2005. In 2007, the carbs were replaced by a fuel injection system that was designed to look like carbs. Then in 2017, we got a new 900cc water-cooled engine, again disguised to look like a finned air-cooled engine. Personally, I think that misses the point, and I'm not including the water-cooled models here. They were heavier and with less power. So for me, off a little that the earlier models don't do better. I would say that the 865cc version is the one to get. The few early niggles had been ironed out, and you still get the choice of carbs on the early models or fuel injection if you want it on the newer models. The engine is in a fairly low state of tune, so it lasts well. Finish is good, and I would say better than the newer Triumphs are. There are many variants from the Speedmaster to the Thruxton and they sold well so there is a good selection to choose from on the used market. Owners tend to dote on them so you will find plenty with long service histories and some good low mileage examples too. If you want a parallel twin with a more British character and retro style in a reliable practical package then you can't go far wrong with the Bonneville. They hold their price well and I can't see that changing much. They are equally at home in the city or in the wild and are perfectly capable of carrying a passenger and luggage for some relaxed touring. They are a strong and very versatile bike, as long as you aren't off to Bonneville to try and break any speed records. I hope you've enjoyed the video and can take the time to look around the channel. If you enjoyed this one, then part one of the Bomb Proof Bikes video and the Bargain Bikes videos of the 80s and 90s should keep you smiling too. I will link them below in the description. As always, thanks for watching and I look forward to hearing your comments about the bikes I have inevitably missed. If you got this far and haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing means you get to find out first when our regular updates, news, views and other videos go out each and every week. It all helps kick the YouTube algorithm into gear and gets the channel out there to new potential viewers. Please share the video with anyone you think will be interested too if you could. The YouTube algorithm is a fickle beast, so it's really helpful for me if you can share it around. You can visit the website or the Red Bubble Shop linked in the description below for the best biker t-shirts and other merchandise. And there are more exciting motorcycle adventures and other stories from the shed and beyond on the website too. So why not grab yourself a cuppa and take a look around. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. I hope you get some great riding in. Ride free everyone.